Sehr geehrte Damen und Herren, herzlich willkommen zu einer neuen Episode von Journey to the Chateau. Für unsere deutschsprachigen Freunde diese Woche haben wir unsere ersten freiwilligen Helfer hier gehabt. War ganz toll, sie waren letztes Jahr hier, die sind in Patreon, die unterstützen uns und diese Woche kamen sie her, um uns zu helfen und äh, ist alles darüber, was wir diese Woche geschafft haben. Bonjour tous, wir waren bei Jeune de Chateau de Colombe in Saint-Model. And that's our English speaking friends from around the world. This week it is all about uh, our friends Martin and Margaret, who were here last year as guests and came back this year as volunteers. And uh, this is all about what we accomplished this week. Right. Uh, they stayed in Arjit again. Yes. And it's all about the, the things that basically they wanted to do for us. Yes. For the Chateau. today in the Chateau's farmhouse Jeet and uh, later on today Martin and Margaret are going to be visiting and they're going to be staying here in the Jeet and while Margaret is here uh, Margaret and I are going to work on an art project together so just a history of what how this came about is that when Martin and Margaret were here last year uh, we started cleaning up the Jeet and the courtyard outside and so Patrick did a lot of work outside the courtyard here where we had piles of debris with uh, roofing tiles and terracotta tiles and uh, roofing shingles, broken pieces of things. So we decided we were going to start clearing it all out. And in the process of doing it, Patrick found this piece, which just sort of looked like another piece of slate, uh, maybe a roofing tile that hadn't broken or whatever. So uh, he set this aside and had me take a look at it. And so when I took a look at it, I started cleaning some things off of it, and I told him that uh, on this side, there is an image that's actually here. So uh, I took it in, and I got it cleaned up, and we found out that it is actually a printing plate. So we showed this to Martin and Margaret when they came here, and they were fascinated by finding out more about it and actually trying to get a print from it to see how it turned out. So Margaret is actually going to be bringing some printmaking supplies, and I have a history of doing thing printmaking in the past as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to see what kind of a print we can get out of this. What we do know from looking at the metal plate is we know that this is an illustration of the Palais Garnier, uh, Paris Opera House. And it is from an artist. It is uh, signed in one of the corners. It is from an artist and his name is Charles Babon and he lived from 1844 to 1922. So we know that this must have been a print that was uh, created sometime around the late 1800s. So uh, as soon as Margaret gets here, she's going to get out her printmaking supplies and she and I are gonna to work together to see if we can get a print off of this.
So Margaret and I were very happy with the way those prints turned out and we're so surprised that something that we found, that Patrick basically found buried in the dirt, <laughs> ended up turning out to be uh, a beautiful piece of artwork. Yes. Uh, from the late 1800s. Yes, yeah, so it's, it's a French artist. Uh, how that printing plate, the engraved well, plate, ended up behind the brambles. Yeah, that's a mystery. Under sand with only mm -hmm. really minor damage. Mm -hmm. um, it, it, and I picked, I, when I dug it out, I thought I had a piece of uh, slate. Right. Because right. it's lead on the back. Um, now the old baron who bought the chateau way over a hundred years ago, he did watercolors actually quite well. Right, he actually was an artist. He did quite a bit of art. Yes, artwork, and yes. so he went to the salons at, uh, mm -hmm. at the um, Côte d'Azur and Cannes and Nice, they had artist salons, and he visited those. And I wouldn't be surprised if he bought it then. Correct. Yeah, I, I agree with you. Yeah, uh, but we'll never know. But it's. That, that would make sense, and then um, maybe someone said, well, but I don't know what this is, it just <laughs> tossed it in the garden, and that's where I found it. And, right. and I mean, those are such beautiful prints. Mm. And um, so that's now an original from the Chateau de Colombe. That's right. So uh, that was the project I did with, with Margaret. And so the one thing that Martin wanted to do which he said before he left last year when he was here. Yes. Was he wanted to work on our moat. Yes. So we have a dry moat around the entire front. And uh, it was one of those projects where we looked at it and went, <laughs> oh, we really want this, but... We don't have the time. Yeah, it's, so, a, it's such a. It would be such a low priority right. for us personally to do that. And, right. and we we are still working on the kitchen. We worked on it today. Mm -hmm. um, Tony came over to start on a bathroom project. Right. Uh, yesterday to so do some plumbing for us. On the so it, there is a lot happening, mm -hmm. and um, I know there are people who, well, one specific person made comments like. When you need to show us your, your chapel. You need to show us... Yes, we would love to, but right now there's nothing to show because there's no progress. Right. So, um, and it's not a priority for us right now. We've got, right. We definitely have our, our projects in an order of priority, and that's what we're going to stick with. Right, right but you know, I, I, I just... We, we love the interest and the enthusiasm, sure. truly. Uh, but we are having people come over uh, from Australia... Mm -hmm. uh, and my cousin is coming over right. at, at the same time. Right. So uh, and <laughs> and uh, starting this weekend, we actually have people who are have booked to stay in Arjit from Airbnb. So yes, and uh, it's all going on here <laughs> coming from French Guinea, yeah. Guinea, and Guinea, and so uh, they're staying for three nights, four mm -hmm. nights. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's. Uh, the sheet is ready, and Claire was here to help John's mm -hmm. wife. So it was such a busy day. Fantastic, loved it, and now let's have a look what Martin did. That's right. <laughs> Thank you.
So we actually have a moat. It's beautiful. Th those walls are so old. Right. And, and you know, again, uh, I can't believe that the, the rock walls, stone walls inside that moat were still so intact. Yes. Right? Now we have an area where they're not, well, where they're overgrown by, we have two trees. Trees, Those yeah. are pseudo-acacias or rubinias, mm. which we have in the back as well. But they are, uh, well, they're slowly dying. Right. They're, they're, not, old they're not doing very well. No. No. So we need to see what we want to do with that. But uh, it is quite amazing. Uh, Martin found two, uh, oh, good. What, what are those? The water well, pipes. Well, they're drain pipes. Drain pipes. So, yeah. No. So what we, ah. had, what we had always sort of wondered since we've been here is, you know, in the, in the uh, front courtyard, we have a lot of downspouts from all of the buildings in the front courtyard that all, they just go down into the ground. Yes. Right? And so I think we were always sort of wondering, where do these go? We just don't know where these go. So, uh, so now we do, because <laughs> uh, when Martin had everything cleared out of there, now we know that on both uh, the left and the right, or on both sides of the moat, there are drainage that comes down into there. And because we have had a lot of rain recently, we did actually see, after he cleared out one side, we actually saw the water pouring out from all of the drainage from the chateau. Well, let's just say there were horrible downpours. Yeah. So we had very unusual weather. And we had some hail as well. Yes, we yeah. had actually water, I mean rain hitting the east side of the chateau so hard, it came in through all our front doors. Of yeah, three it above. did. It was coming. And one window there. upstairs was, I must not have closed it tight enough, Mm. So I'm standing in the kitchen looking up because something was dripping. It came down through the window, down the windowsill, through the floor, into the kitchen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. life at the chateau. And I'm so sorry there was no camera running, but I was running. Stuart was running. Right. We're all running and uh, drying it out. It, um, and everything's fine. Mm. It, this is, I mean, the chateau is almost 400 years old. Mm. Uh, so it, this was not the, four, the first little disaster, but it was, it, it was kind of, a, uh, it's not funny while you're at it, but afterwards you have to laugh at it. And it was funny because right. water coming down from the, the beams, you can wear this, like, from this. Uh, in any case, right. I did not digress. I mean, I was on, on point, kind of. <laughs> it was, it was close. Work with me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So. Uh, so the one thing that we wanted to do with uh, Martin and Margaret before they left is we made a trip to an MIUs. Yes, and it was a lot of fun.
Now, while Martin and Margaret worked in the front, uh, a lady came by and said that she lost her two dogs. They ran away and, well, we're all on alert with lost dogs. Because we, we, you know, it, it took us so long to even honestly emotionally recover from not, you know, missing Nessa for nine days right. and getting her back. So we're keeping an eye out and uh, <laughs> Stuart comes in and said, I think I found the two dogs and they're right outside the gates. Yeah, I was working out in the front doing some uh, uh, strimmer trimming uh, in the front. And uh, isn't that I, strimming? Strimming? Strimmer trimming? Trimmer strimming? No, strimming. I, no, I don't Just know. strimming. Anyway, it's, it's, it's a strimmer. It's a, strimmer. It's, a, it's a British term, strim, strimmer. So, anyway, I was out there working and uh, I came in to get some more, uh, more supplies and went back out. And when I went back out there, all of a sudden there's these two dogs who are wandering around coming up from the LA going down the road. And I, th I thought, Wait a minute. These are the. This is a large black dog and a smaller dog. These are the missing dogs. Yes. But this was five days mm -hmm. after we had already heard that they were missing. So I ran in and, and found Patrick, and we went out there to try to get the dogs. Yes. To come in, and this is what happened. Yes. Yeah, so this is in our courtyard. The day that Martin and Margaret got here last week, there was somebody who stopped by and said that they were missing two of their dogs, a large black dog and a smaller dog. And we are now five days later, and I was working out in the front, and these two came walking by. So I called to Patrick, and we got them in our courtyard. So now we're going to see if we can get a hold of their owners and return them to their home. Now, having been there and had a, a dog run away, or, well, it was five in our case, but one for nine days, being able to return those dogs to their owner yeah. was incredible. Yeah. <laughs> it was just really, really sweet. And uh, so it's, what a blessing. But, you know, we've received our share of blessings. Yes. And so glad that that was a happy ending for, again. It was, oh my God, they were so dogs. funny. I mean, yeah. they were just lovely dogs. They and, were. Ah, uh, well, well, one is a beagle. And so <laughs> we had old baguette, stale. Oh, she was all over that baguette. And he was like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> did not like it. But so it gave them some, uh, some kibble. So... Yeah. They were, uh, and, you know, so it, it was a great ending. It was. Of, yes. of a um, story that could have ended badly, but it didn't. Right. And Friday is, episode is about what? Our Friday episode is uh, about uh, us doing final preparations again for our jeet. And the, the people who are renting the jeet are, have, will have just arrived when this airs. 
Right. So, so we did post and our Jeet is now uh, listed on Airbnb. Yes. Right. And uh, I think from, I don't know how soon it was that you posted it. One day. Wait, within one day, we already had somebody who had booked uh, Airbnb and it's for this coming weekend. So yes. So we are doing our, all of our final preparations <laughs> to do everything for the Jeet. Are you not stressed? Uh, just a little bit. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we will we will show you uh, some of all the final things that we did to prepare the the jeet. Yeah, and um, if you really like this this video, please do not hesitate to like or subscribe and recommend us to your friends and family. It really helps us a lot. You can also support us on Patreon, and that does help with the restoration of the chateau. Yes, and we will see you on Friday. Getting the, shit, uh, the, <laughs> the sheet ready. Oh, good Lord. Thank you. <laughs> Au revoir. Auf Wiedersehen. Bye. If you enjoyed this video, please use the like feature to let us know. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our Journey to the Chateau YouTube channel if you would like to see more. Once you've subscribed, you can tap the notification bell in order to ring it, which will allow you to receive all notifications from our channel. Thank you.